Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will learn how to implement pagination only with next and previous button link, in Laravel 6 framework, using Ajax. This is one more topic, which we have covered in Laravel 6.6 tutorial series, so if you want to add next and previous button on pagination in Laravel 6 framework, then this tutorial will help you to learn how to create pagination in Laravel 6 framework using Ajax with previous and next button. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database and in this we have one sample data table and in this table we have already store some data so we will use this data for implement previous and next button link pagination in laravel 6 using ajax this is our laravel working folder in this first we want to make pagination controller so we have go to command prompt and here first go to our laravel working folder directory then after we have to run composer command and then after for create controller file we have to run following command it will make pagination controller under controller directory so we have go to laravel working folder and go to controllers directory and here we have find pagination controller file, so we have opened this file. Under this controller file, first we have write use statement with database class object. Here we will use Laravel database class for database operation. After this, we have write function index. This is the root function for this controller class. Under this method, we have write dollar data variable is equal to database class object with table method, and under this method, we have write table name sample data. After this, we have write simple paginate method with five records as argument. This method will make pagination link, with only next and previous button link. This code will make query like, select star from sample data, with limit 5 data only, and after this it will execute this query, and return data, which will be store under this dollar data variable. Below this, we have write return statement with view method, and under this we have write pagination parent view file name, and in second argument, we have write compact function with data variable. This code will load pagination parent.blade.php file, with data get from this compact data variable, this function create array containing variable and their values. Now we have moved to write code in view file, which we have already made under resources slash view folder, so we have open pagination parent.blade.php file, and in this we have already included jQuery and bootstrap library. Here we have already created one more view file, with name like pagination child.blade.php, in this file we will load sample data table, under this file. In this file we have create one table with two column like first name, and last name. After this we want to display data, so here we have write at the rate for each loop with dollar data as dollar row variable. First we want to close for each loop, 
for this here we have right at the rate end for each, by using this statement we can close this for each loop. Under this loop in first column we want to display first name data, so here we have write Laravel expression, and between it we have write, dollar row with first name table column name. In second column we want to print last name table column data, so here we have write Laravel expression, and between it, we have write dollar row, with last name table column name. This code will print data in paginate format, now we want to print pagination link, with only next and previous button link, for go to next or previous page records. For this here, we have write Laravel expression, and between this, we have make unescaped block, and between this, we have write dollar data variable with links method. This method will print pagination link with previous and next button link on web page. Now we have go to pagination parent dot blade dot php file, and here first we have write at the rate csrf directive. This is for prevent from cross-site request forgery attack. Below this, here we have write division tag with id is equal to table data. Under this tag we want to display pagination data from pagination child.blade.php file. For display pagination child.blade file data, here we have write at the rate include statement with view file name pagination child. By using this code, it will display pagination child.blade.php file data here. Now we want to set root, so we have go to roots folder and open web page.php file. Under this, we have write root class with get method with two argument like slash pagination, and in second argument, we have write pagination controller at index method. So when we have write base URL slash pagination in browser, then it will call the index method of pagination controller. Now friends here in browser, we have write base url slash pagination, so here we can see posts table data on web page in pagination format, and below we can see pagination link with previous and next button. Now we have checked this next and previous button link working or not, so we have click on next button link, after click on next button link, then table data has been changed, and it has load particular next page data, under table which we have seen on web page. So this way we can implement simple pagination in Laravel 6 framework only with previous and next button link. Now we want make this type of pagination in Laravel 6 framework using Ajax functionality. For this we have go to pagination parent.blade.php file, and here we have write dollar with document selector with on method, and under this we have write click event with page link class, so when we have click on pagination link then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write event dot prevent default method, this method will stop to refresh web page. Below this, we have write page variable is equal to, dollar this selector with attribute method, and under this we have write href with split method, and under this we have write page equal to with one index. 
Here by using attribute method, we have get the URL of particular pagination link, and from that link we want to get page variable value, and this page variable value has been get by using split method. Now we have called fetch data function, and in page number argument, we have write page variable, this function will send request to fetch method of pagination controller. Below we have make fetch function, with page argument. Under this function, first we have write underscore token variable is equal to, dollar with input field, with name attribute is equal to, underscore token, with value method, this code will fetch the value of, hidden field with name underscore token. Below this, we have write Ajax request, and under this we have write URL option, first we have write Laravel expression. And between this, we have write root method, and under this we have write pagination dot fetch, so it will send request to fetch method of pagination class. In second option, we have write method, and here we have write post, so here Ajax request will use post method, for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and in this option we can define, which data we want send to server, so here we have define underscore token variable, and page variable value send to server. After this, we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server, which we can access from this data variable. Under this function, we have write dollar with division tag id table data with html method, and under this method, we have write data variable, this method will change html data of this table data division tag. Now we have go to pagination controller, and here we have create fetch function with dollar request argument, this function will receive Ajax request. Under this function, we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar request variable with Ajax method, if this function received Ajax request, then it will execute if block of code. Under this method, we have write dollar data variable is equal to, database class object with table method, and under this method, we have write sample data table name, with simple paginate method with 5 records. This code will make query like, select star from sample data table, with limit 5 data, and it will execute this query, and return data has been store under this dollar data variable. Below this, we have write return statement with view method, and under this we have write pagination child view file name, and compact function with data variable. This code will load pagination child.blade.php file, and data has been get from this compact data variable, this function create array containing variable, and their values. Lastly we want to set root of this method, so we have go to web.php file and here we have write root class with post method with two argument. In first argument, we have write pagination slash fetch, and in second argument we have write pagination controller at the rate fetch, so when this pagination slash fetch URL has been called, then it will called fetch method of pagination controller.
Now friends, first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page we can see sample data table data on web page in pagination format only with previous and next button, now we want to check Ajax code is working or not. So here we have click on next button link, after click on next button pagination link, we can see table data has been changed but URL not change, that means it has fetch next page data, and display on web page without refresh of web page. Here we can see Ajax previous and next button pagination nicely working in Laravel 6 framework, and we can see next and previous page link data on web page, without refresh of web page, this has been done by using Ajax. So this is major benefits of previous and next button pagination using Ajax, it has not load all data at the same time, but it has divided data into different page. So, this way we can implement, previous and next button pagination in Laravel 6 framework, by using Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.